పూజంతం రామరామేపి మధురం మధురాక్షరం ఆరుహ్య కవితా శాఖం వందే వాల్మీకి కోకిలం శ్రీరాఘవం దశరథాత్మజ అప్రమేయం సీతాపతిం రఘుకులాన్వయ రత్నదీపం ఆజానుబాహు అరవింద దళాయదాక్షం రామం చాచర వినాశకరం నమామి we concluded relishing sundara kanda and we are about to begin yuddha kanda the entire vanar sena along with rama lakshmana sugriva jambava were all assembled on the sea shore and hanuman recounts his experience his experience of discovering sita hanuman overcomes five obstacles in his exhilarating journey hanuman overcomes five obstacles the <coughs> obstacle of confidence the obstacle the first obstacle of confidence in the form of the vast ocean that had to be crossed the second obstacle of temptation he overcomes the obstacle of temptation in the form of the mountain mainaka the glittering mountain mainaka the third obstacle of pride the obstacle of pride in the form of the ghastly slimy monstrous surasa the fourth obstacle of envy in the form of the hideous simhika the fifth obstacle of egotism in the form of the horrendous lankini five obstacles hanuman overcomes and reaches lanka he surveys the whole of lanka every nook and corner in search for mother sita and in that process hanuman also makes a very detailed and sound assessment of the strengths and weaknesses of ravana's army in the process of searching for mother sita hanuman also finds out the details of the city of lanka he captures every single detail and we see how valmiki gives us a very vivid account of hanuman's journey through lanka until he reaches ashoka vatika and discovers mother sita there hanuman hands over the anguliya rama's ring to mother sita introduces himself as rama dhuta and we see how a glorious conversation that ensues between the greatest of the bhaktas and mother sita where we get to experience rama's glories through hanuman he also obtains the divine chudamani from sita and then on purpose we see how hanuman devastates ashoka vatika in order to gain ravana's attention we see hanuman effortlessly encountering the rakshasas and vanquishing them like mosquitoes hanuman treats every rakshasa so very effortlessly and in the process kills thousands and thousands of them including ravana's son aksha he instills fear in ravana's heart 
shakes the entire Lanka with his valor. And on purpose and by design gets captured by Indrajit and gets taken to Ravada's palace. We see Hanuman's wisdom when he advises Ravana. And we also see Hanuman beautifully performing the role of a Dutta. He on purpose allows his tail to be burnt and ends up setting Lanka on fire. Creating unimaginable havoc. Ravana and his entire council of ministers are completely shaken, devastated. Ravana has never ever encountered this kind of an adversary. Haruman then returns to Ashoka Vatika for the main reason of reassuring Mother Sita before he can travel back to meet the Rama. Taking Mother Sita's blessings, Hanuman returns. And then together with the contingent of the Vanara army, he returns and then he starts to recount his experiences, the experiences of the beautiful journey. Sundara Kanda, that's why the Kanda was called Sundara Kanda, the hero being none other than the Sundara of all Sundaras, the Supreme Bhakta Hanuman. We had to take a pause while Hanuman was recounting his experiences to Rama. And then we are here again assembled to continue our journey along with Hanuman. Hanuman takes the opportunity to give every single detail to Rama. The beauty of Hanuman's narration is that it moves Rama so much. It brings back smile on Rama's face. All the Vanaras are very proud standing around as this conversation happens between the Dasa and his master. Sugriva proudly witnessing this conversation because the mission is accomplished. Mother Sita has discovered the Vanaras see a hope. All of them are enthused because now they see that Hanuman has accomplished. The, the unachievable has been achieved. Everyone is assembled around Rama and Hanuman as they face each other. And as this conversation goes on, the entire Vanara Sena is relishing that conversation. Hanuman is known for his Vakshaturya. Navavyakarana Pandita. And who else can give the details of his encounter with Ravana's army? His discovery of Mother Sita. Mother Sita's feelings. Whatever transpired, Hanuman did not leave a single detail out. Very dutifully, Hanuman explains to Rama. And towards the end of Sundara Kanda, we see Hanuman conveying to Rama verbatim Sita's message. This possibly is one of the most important accomplishment of Hanuman. He not only as a Dutta goes and discovers Sita, he does so many things. And one of the most important things he achieves is capturing every single word spoken by Mother Sita to be conveyed verbatim to Rama. It seemed as though Sita far away in Ashoka Vatika actually is having a conversation with Rama through Hanuman. This is what somebody like only like Hanuman can achieve. Sita conveys to Rama through Hanuman. Yesha chuda manihi shriman mayate yatna rakshitaha. Yesha nidyahita shriman mayate vari sambhavaha. Etam drishtva pramodishya yasane twam yiva anaga. 
hey anaga hey rama this is the chudamani i am sending chudamani that you know of i am sending through hanuma to know what the only way i could spend time i could endure this torturous time here in lanka is by seeing you through this chudamani every day i could see you and i could experience you because i had this chudamani with me and it is with this chudamani i could continue to see you converse with you stay connected with you and it is this chudamani now that i am sending through hanuman in order to give you the assurance that hanuman has actually seen me and hanuman presents that chudamani to rama sita also says hey rama jeevitam dharayishyami masam dasharatatmaja hey rama i can only endure this for another month not a day more not a day less jeevitam dharayishyam masam dasharatatmaja urdham masan na jeeveyam rakshasam vasham agatha this captivity in lanka cannot any more continue here rama i can bear this possibly for another a month and sita gives this ultimatum to rama time has come for you now to act decisively enough is enough we have endured the separation for longer than what we have anticipated what we have planned for and <coughs> therefore she says sarvata sagara jale santarah pravidhiyata you better build a bridge connecting the two shores across the sea so that all the varas can cross over you know this is the foundation already being laid for setu bandhana many many, many think that setu bandhana yes obviously rama kataksha ensured that the stones could float and the setu could be built but the first initiation of setu bandhana happened through mother sita's kataksha last week we were discussing the significance of lakshmi kataksha the role that lakshmi kataksha plays it is mother sita who basically initiates this process and says hey rama sarvata sagara jale sagara jale samtarah pravidhiyatam let there be a bridge built so that all of you can cross over tatalam paritap now hanuman having conveyed what mother sita wanted the message to be conveyed to rama also ensures that he conveys to rama the assurance he gave to sita so this again is the role of this is over and above the remit of aduta so this is the beauty of hanuman hanuman now says hey rama because hanuman could never bear looking at rama going through that anguish he knows the kind of inner angst the experience that rama is going through separated from sita so he hanuman also wants to give that assurance to rama therefore hanuman looks at rama and says hey rama let me also tell you what message i conveyed to mother sita hanuman's conversation with sita his message to sita hanuman is recounting to rama so all of this is happening on this side of the shore hanuman is giving the details tatalam paritapena devi manyu yapetu the he rama on your behalf i took the opportunity on your behalf to request mother sita to stop lamenting on your behalf i tried to give her that assurance he devi manyu vapaitu te kindly stop grieving he mother time has come now time has now come for you to be liberated there is no need to worry any more eka utpatena te lankam eshyanti hariyutapah hariyuta the entire vanara army sooner than later is going to march towards lanka in order to ensure 
that Ravana and his army are completely vanquished. So therefore, Mahashujaha. No, Hanuman on behalf of Rama is saying, there is no need for your Shokha Mate. Do not need to anymore be in grief. Let me give you that assurance. And Hanuman says, looking at Parasita, Mama Prishtagatau tau cha chandra surya, suryava iva uditau Tvatsakasham mahabhage nasimhavam agamishyataha What more assurance can be given to mother? The two lions, Rama and Lakshmana, are soon going to be here right in front of you and I will carry them on my very own shoulders. You are going to see Rama and Lakshmana, the two lions. Now that kind of assurance Hanuman is giving to Mother Sita. Visualize Mother Sita, me carrying two lions. Hanuman carrying Rama and Lakshmana on the shoulders right in front of you and this is going to happen very soon. You do not no need to wait any longer. Arignam Simha Sankasham Kshipram Dakshasi Raghavam Lakshamana Chadanushpanim Lanka Dwaram Upastitam. Hey mother, please look. Please look towards the entry of the, the, the gate, the Lanka, the gate of Lanka. Soon you are going to see entering that gate, holding the mighty bow, Rama and Lakshmana marching towards Ravana's army to rescue you. Soon you are going to be rescued. This is my assurance. Nivrita Manavasam Chatvayasadham Arindamam. Abhishiktum Ayodhyayam Chipram Dakshasi Raghava. Hanuman is the man of supreme wisdom and he knows how to reassure people. He knows how to give that confidence to Mother Sita. He is not only saying, Mother, Rama and Lakshmana along with the army will march and vanquish Ravana and his army. He is also saying, Mother, start looking at how you and Rama are going to be seated on a majestic throne and Rama getting crowned very soon. The Pattabhisheka is going to happen. Visualize the grand scene of Pattabhisheka, you and Rama being right in the center of the palace of Ayodhya. Abhishiktam Ayodhyayam Kshipram Dakshasi Raghava. Raghava's Pattabhisheka is going to happen very soon. There is no need for you to be grieving anymore for that. Hanuman, very with all humility, is telling Rama, Rama, in whatever way possible, with comforting words, in whatever whatever way possible, I comforted Mother Sita, to made her comfortable and gave her all that assurance. Speaking, no, pleasing words. The words that can please Mother Sita, Abhi Prasadita, made her, gave, gave her peace of mind finally. Jagama Shanti Mama Maitila Maja Tava Pishokena Tata Abhi Pidita. I know how much you are worried about Mother Sita being tormented with grief. She has waited enough in separation. And therefore, I wanted to give her that comfort. I wanted to make her feel secure. And with all courage that is possible, with your blessing, Hirama, I managed to comfort her with pleasing words. And those pleasing words, I believe, relieved her shoka. The role played by Hanuman is in fact wondrous. No wonder Sundara Kanda is celebrated as that part of Ramayana which relieves everyone of their shoka. And having done that commendable job, that mighty Hanuman now who knows he is the very Dasa, is waiting now for Rama's response. He's waited enough. Almost for a year we made Hanuman wait for this. Because this is where we ended. Hanuman conveys this important message to Rama. And Rama, as usual, takes his own time. All the Vanaras are witnessing this to see what is going to happen next. What is Rama going to do? Is he going to jump and dance with John? You know, the Vanaras have already done that. We have seen how jub jubilant they were on their way back before even conveying this message to Rama. 
we saw the celebrations of the vanara sena and in that process we also saw how they ran a mock in sugriva's vana and after all that all the vanaras now are only keen to know only one thing the thousands and thousands of vanaras are all now fixed on rama's face all trying to see is there only going to be that gentle smile or will rama's smile grow one inch more so this is this is, this is what they all are very keen to know and we left them waiting for one year now we have to see as yuddha kanda begins what is going to be rama's response to possibly the greatest achievement ever 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 accomplished by anyone ever in the history of human kind because what hanuman achieved single handedly it is unimaginable and therefore and everyone knows this and there is this weight shutva hanumato vakyam yathavat abhibhashitam ramaha priti samayukta vakyam uttaram abravi this is how valmiki starts off the kanda so priti samayukta rama is full of love priti samayukta he is always full of love you know when he is enduring an adversity he is full of love when he is enduring moments of happiness he is full of love but here this is a special occasion this is a special occasion because hanuman has brought back not only the good news of discovering sita he also has presented sita's chudamani something which is very very dear to rama obviously rama is immensely pleased you know the priti samayukta rama ha priti samayukta va vakyam uttaram abravit one way to one way to understand this is rama is responding addressing hanuman with full of love but also the priti samayukta can also qualify what hanuman did shutva hanumato priti samayukta vakyam in the first line valmiki says shutva hanumato vakyam yathavata abhibhashitam hanumata listening to hanuman's vakya hanuman sentences rama priti purvakam he responded but more than rama's response which is pleasing hanuman's address was even more pleasing to rama therefore ideally even though valmiki qualified rama's vakya as priti yukta we should understand hanumata hanuman's vakya as priti yukta so we need to little bit rearrange the words and say shutva hanumato priti samayukta vakyam yathavata abhibhashitam rama ha priti samayukta rama anyway priti sama the way hanuman celebrates is so very different hanuman is a vanara so he has the license to jump up and down rama is a raja he is raja ramachandra unfortunately he also his conduct also is governed by certain rules he cannot jump jump around like ordinary people after all people look upon him so, samanya dharma when when we talk about rama as a very personification of dharma we see this in rama walking talking and doing every act howsoever trivial or howsoever significant all of us get carried away some good news comes we are hitting the ceiling some bad news comes we are going down deep deep inside neither are recommended and rama shows when adversity comes he is the same when great news comes he is the same and sometimes we wonder is he stone hearted no he is not stone hearted he is full of love. that's why valmiki possibly wants to ensure that we don't misunderstand this priti purvakam no priti yukta he is full of love he is smiling you know but his smile is, can only go grow so many inches not beyond krishna can smile jump krishna takes all the license but not rama so therefore rama priti purvakam he responds to hanuman kritam hanumata karyam sumahut धरणी तले दिस इज एक्सैक्टली वॉट 
this should be the beginning of any right response to what hanuman has done this is what an ideal master should be doing rama knows the magnitude of this achievement so you know somebody else possibly would look at the churamani and jump on the churamani and and he would straight away say oh what how is sita what he she say you know all that is fine but what is more important is to commend the person who has achieved the unachievable so rama ensures that first hanuman is recognized you know he says kritam hanumata karyam whatever hanuman has done he is now not only not addressing hanuman now this is rama's address to the entire vanara sena and sugriva thousands of people are listening to what rama has to say suvahad bhuvit durlabham this is something outstanding what hanuman has achieved is unbelievable unimaginable manasapi yadanyena unthinkable what is achieved is even not thinkable na shakyam dharani tale nobody else on this planet could have achieved what hanuman has managed this is something which is very outstanding no now this is not directly addressing hanuman but making a declaration so that everybody recognizes and this is the best way to give a compliment so rama here is teaching how to give a compliment it's just not telling hanuman hanuman well done that's one way to do it but what is important here to notice is how a compliment has to be done is to has to be given he is ensuring that everyone around recognizes and feels good for what hanuman has done nahitam paripashyami yastaret mahodadhim anyatra garuda vayoranyatra cha hanumatah what garuda can do what vayu bhagavan can do hanuman has done this and much much more no this is the greatest compliment that can be given hanuman ah uh, garuda his own vehicle and vayu bhagavan who can achieve everything who is hanuman's pita what else can a son what other compliment can a son get when it is said you have overachieved your father what what is what can be the greater compliment than this rama knows this and therefore he says this accomplishment is something beyond what garuda and even vayu can do devadanava yakshana gandarva uraga rakshasam apradrishyam purim lankam ravadena surakshita pravishta sattvamashritya jeevan ko nama nishkramet indeed indeed is looking at everyone specifically sugriva and say who else you know, in, it's not easy to go back into ravana's fortress and then come back alive not possible for devas not possible for yakshas not possible for uragas no other no other living entity can actually go into ravana's fortress do all the havoc and then come back safe and secure it is unimaginable ko vishesh sudurdha darsham rakya saischa surakshitam yo virya bala sampanna na samaha syadha bhumatah hanumatah virya bala sampanna this is complete on hanuman virya bala sampanna the one who abounds in valor and strength what is the use of valor and strength if it is not put in use properly strength and valor ought to be used to serve bhagavan and hanuman has used his strength and valor for only one purpose for ramakain kriya and therefore that valor that strength is celebrated when it's put to use for the right purpose and therefore that valor is that mighty hanuman alone is the one who has access the inaccessible and he has come back you know achieving this now hanuman now rama talks about three different people this is a very interesting piece of rama's address rama says prityakaryam hanumata sugrivasya kritam mahat evam vidhaya svabalam 
Sadrisham Vikramasya Cha Hanuman with his mighty form. Vritya Karyam. Vritya as a servant. Vritya Karyam, the service that Hanuman has done. You know, possibly Hanuman is the only one who will feel proud when he is addressed as a servant. Who will feel proud when, you know, when being addressed as a servant? All of us take offering. You know, because how can we ever think ourselves of being a servant? We are all masters. But Hanuman is the only one. When somebody says Hanuman, you are Rama's Dasa, Rama's servant. You are Bhritya of Rama. Hanuman's chest expands and he feels proud. If somebody says, hey Hanuman, you are great. Hanuman, you know, he cannot bear that kind of a comment. He feels very uncomfortable. Prithakaryam Hanumata Sugrivasya Kritam Mahat Evam Vidhaya Svavalam Sadrisham Vikramasya Cha This mighty, this one with the mighty form and the valor, he has done a great service to his master. Now here also, Rama is giving credit to Sugriva. After all, Sugriva form, form, formally is Hanuman's master. Hanuman is Sugriva's minister. So whatever is Hanuman achieved as per dharma, Credit has to be given to Sugriva as well. So Rama knows Dharma. So therefore, he has to credit Sugriva also. The task assigned by Sugriva to Hanuman has been fully and well accomplished. And then Rama says, Yohi Vrityo Niyuktaha Sanbhak Santhartra Karmani Dushkare Kuriya Tadunuragena Tamahuhu Purushottamam. He says, Who is Purushottamam? No, we all know who is Purushottama. Who is Purushottama? Uttama Purusha Svanya Paramat Petuda Hrathayo Lokatraya Mahavishya Bhagavati Abhyaya Ishwara. Bhagavan Ishwara Sri Krishna, he is celebrated as Purushottama. Uttama Purusha. In the Gita he says, Paramat Petuda Hrathaha. No, Lokatraya Mahavishya Bhagavati Abhyaya Ishwara. The one who pervades, permeates, the one who supports. Who is the Adhara? Who is the Niyanta? Who is the Sarvaseshi? The Paramatma, the Parabrahman, Purushottama, he, Sri Krishna, he is Sri Purushottama. But here we get another definition for who is Purushottama. Rama's definition of Purushottama, which is very dear to him. He says, let me define who is Purushottama. And he is looking at Hanuman. No, Rama is looking at Hanuman and says, I know who is Purushottama. Yohi Brityo Niyuktaha Sanbhatro Karmani Dushkare Kuriyat Tadanuragena Tamahuhu Purushottama. He says, the servant to whom a master gives a very difficult task to perform. And he not only carries out the task given, he does much, much more than what even the master wanted. He is Purushottama. Now, he is not straight away saying, Anu, are you Purushottama? But he's saying, everybody now knows that he is Purushottama. Now, let me also, also tell you who is the Madhyama Purusha. Uttama Purusha is this one. Who is Madhyama Purusha? Yo niyuktaha paramkaryam na kuriyat nabate priyam prityo yukta samartascha tamahur madhyamam naram. Madhyamam naram. Who is that Madhyamam naram? Yo niyuktaha paramam karyam nakuriyat nipate priyam dhutyo yuktaha samarthascha. He is samartha. The servant, the one who is carrying out the task is samartha. He has the capability. He has all the qualification, all the skills. The master gives him a task. And he just goes about doing exactly what is asked. Not a one percent more. Not one percent less. He is madhyama purusha. Who is a adhama? Niyukto nrupate karyam na kuriyadya samahitaha dhutyo yukta samattas chattama huhu purusha adhamam. Who is the adhama purusha? He is samatta. He has all the capabilities, all the skills, all the qualification. And he is entrusted with the task by the master. And he ends up underperforming. Not because he cannot. Because he does not want to. He does not want to. So, one who fails to come accomplish whatever little, not, not stretching. There is no stretch goal here. No, a very simple goal, which is which can be effortlessly carried out by him. He is Adhama Purusha. So Adhama Purusha is one 
who is capable, who is skilled, he is given a task and he fails in carrying out the task. Madhyama Purusha is one who is capable, who are also all skills. And the task is given to him by his master and he ends up carrying out the task exactly to the T. Job description is given, scope of work is given. He does it. But he is only Madhyama Purusha, Rama is saying. Who is Uttama Purusha? He is capable, skilled, task is given, scope of work is given. He not only achieves what is asked for, he does over and above what has been asked for. We have to remind ourselves of what Rama said to Lakshmana. When Lakshmana builds the Kutiram for Rama, when Lakshmana builds the Kutira for Rama, Lakshmana, that very epitome of servitude, that, that one who embodies Seshatva, when he builds that Kutira for Rama, he says, hey, hey, Lakshmana, Bhavagena, Kritagena, Dharmagena, Cha Lakshmana, Vayavutrena, Dharmatma, Na Samvritam, Pitavama. Now I know that I have not lost my father. Rama is telling Lakshmana, I have not lost. Dasarata is not gone. In your form, he is very much there. When I was a little child, Dasarata was taking care of me, taking care of my every little need. Right now, you are doing that and even beyond here, Lakshmana. Bhava jena, krita jena, dharma jena cha Lakshmana. Now, Rama is saying the same to Hanuman. Bhava jena, krita jena, dharma jena. Hey, Hanuman ta, bhava jena. What is bhava jena? A pastor can ask one, please carry out this task. But it is important for the dasa to look at the master's feelings. What he really wants. The master may say a few things. Words can only convey to a certain extent. But the dasa has to really identify what is in his heart. What does he actually want? Bhava jnana. To do not just what is told, but to do what is pleasing to the master. What pleases him most? What brings him that happiness? Krita jnana. Having the right kind of skill. So having the skill, the capability is important. But if it is not put to use to serve Bhagavan, what is of what is use of that skill? Hanuman is celebrated by us today, not just because he has the valor, he has the strength. He is Veera Hanuman, but more importantly, he is Bhakta Hanuman. And his Kutagnyaha, the skill that he has to serve. Dharma. dharma is to know that my dharma, my nature is to serve Bhagavan. And therefore, Rama says, Yohi prithyo niyuktaha sanbhatro karmani dushkare kurya tadurragena tamuhu purushottama. What else can one ask for? When the purushottama says, you are the purushottama, eh hey Hanuman. I think it's worth the wait for one year for all of us. We have been waiting to see how Rama responds to Hanuman. We have been waiting as all the Vanara Sena assembled on the seashore received Hanuman and the other Vanaras who came back with the good news. And we've also waited as Hanuman completed his narration and we were waiting to see Rama beyond the smile what he is going to say. Now Rama gives the greatest of compliments to Hanuman. And he says, and he looks at everyone, if all of you think I am the Purushottama, let me tell you in my definition, Hanuman is the Purushottama. The greatest reward that Hanuman can ever get. That is what we all think. Let us wait for one more week to know what can be even greater than this. Jai Shri Ram.